I'm using a bone-in turkey leg here, so this is going to be a pretty inexpensive meal. First, let's prepare carrots. Clean carrots well. There is a dirt around the stems. I use a clean toothbrush just to clean vegetables. In running water, I will gently brush carrots. I won't peel the skin because I want to have a rustic look. Just clean and dry them with a kitchen towel. Trim green beans. The stems are pretty woody, so nobody wants to eat them. Cut them off with kitchen scissors. That will be easier. Tie rosemary and thyme with kitchen twine and make a bundle. It will be much easier to deal with than sprigs of herbs all over the place when you cook meat later. We need two or three cloves of garlic. On a baking sheet, drizzle some oil. Season carrots with salt and pepper. Put them in the oven at 400 for about 30 minutes or until the carrots are very soft. Season turkey with salt and pepper generously. Drizzle oil. Put the skin side down first. Put the meat in the pan from your side and away. We're doing this so that the hot oil will not splash at you. Don't move the meat around. Let it brown. Turkey is a lean meat, so it's pretty healthy. Put the garlic and thyme. Brush the meat with a thyme bundle. Add butter. With a spoon, baste the meat so that the meat won't get dry. The oil is pretty hot, so be careful. Once both the sides are brown, put the pan in the oven at 375 for about 25 minutes. Slice a clove of garlic. Saute green beans first. Green beans takes time, so be patient. Season with salt and pepper. When green beans are soft, then add garlic. When turkey comes out of the oven, let it rest for about 15 minutes. The internal temperature for turkey legs should be 170 to 175 degrees. Put the carrots and beans in the oven to warm up. Make sure that the oven is off. Let's plate.